This is the sensation of sex given by a narcissist in order to make you his slave. Narcissists often use sex as a tool of control, causing power over their partners and harm to their emotional and psychological well-being. Today, I'd like to discuss the strategies utilized by narcissists in relationships. Can you describe your personal experiences as a survivor of sexual violence and how it has affected you? Please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to ensure you never miss any of my future uploads. I have observed that narcissists often present a false image called fake intimacy. This refers to sexual activity that takes place without a genuine emotional connection between partners. The sexual encounters may be entertaining but lack meaningful significance. Only the individual can determine if their sexual contact with a narcissistic partner represents a romantic relationship, as this type of relationship does not exist in the world of narcissists. To fully comprehend the impact of sexual trauma and how narcissists use sex as a weapon, it is essential to understand the significance of sexual intimacy in healthy relationships. Sexual intimacy contributes to a relationship beyond physical attraction. It strengthens emotional connections and helps partners better understand each other. Through their relationship, they are able to accept each other's true selves. This results in a deeper connection and mutual satisfaction between partners. I hope I've made clear the importance of sexual intimacy in relationships. When one partner lacks it, or is unable to provide it, the relationship can suffer greatly. Let's make an effort to understand the narcissist, narcissism, and the asymmetry and abnormality in the narcissist's sexual life. Narcissists can use their sexual interactions with strangers as a weapon. This is achieved through five sex rituals and five sex applications that make this a dangerous weapon. At the beginning of a relationship, some narcissists can arouse a great deal of sexual interest. During the love-bombing phase of the relationship, one might think they are having the best sex of their life. However, when the narcissist starts treating you poorly, they may also stop having sexual relations with you. This results in a complete dissipation of sexual tension and a numbing of your senses. A decrease in sexual activity can lead to negative thoughts about one's own value, attractiveness, and physical appearance, which can have a long-lasting impact on one's self-worth. The narcissist's lack of communication, along with their manipulation and gaslighting, can exacerbate these negative thoughts, leading to a growing sense of isolation. Relationships are based on emotional connections, not just physical attraction. Over time, the relationship may lose value, leading one to pursue the narcissist while also trying to improve themselves. This often leads to further compromises in the hopes of restoring balance or rediscovering the person they initially fell in love with. The sexual connection with a narcissist can create a heightened perception of the intensity of sexual experiences, making sex a weapon. One may give sex more importance than it actually has because the narcissist defines intimacy as sexual encounters. After having sex with the narcissist, one may feel like they have a connection with them again. If you are in a relationship with a narcissist, they may exploit the fact that you are starting to feel normal, again as a weapon when you want more of their attention. This can result in sexual exploitation and addiction, which can have serious psychological effects on you. Narcissists may not give you the attention you need and instead extract it from you, leaving you feeling even more split apart. The sexual connection in the relationship becomes the only connection, and this can have a profound impact on your identity. The narcissist may use their power to manipulate you into engaging in undesirable behaviour, such as making weird requests for images of yourself in your underwear or other forms of sexual abuse that you would never accept in a healthy relationship. 
This extreme form of sex can cause great psychological trauma as it forces you to act in ways that you wouldn't otherwise or in the absence of the narcissist. As this relationship progresses, you may start to feel self-blame and experience emotional and mental separation from your own self. These changes in your personality are not indicative of who you really are and your thinking is distinct from the thinking of the narcissist. Let us once again examine the concept of suspended sanctions. These sanctions may be withheld by a narcissistic individual as a form of punishment. If you have upset their narcissistic ego with your actions or failure to meet their demands, they may choose to withhold these sanctions without much effort. This form of punishment may stem from a sexual relationship based on dependence or trauma. The narcissist may derive pleasure from the suffering they cause, as it allows them to feel a sense of control. The sexual relationship with a narcissist may seem mechanical, lacking the passion it once had. They may be energized by your positive reactions to their behavior and may treat you like a commodity to be used for their own satisfaction if they believe you will remain available to them no matter how they treat you. It is important to note that if someone has manipulated your thinking to prioritize their own needs over your own, you may find yourself accepting this behavior without questioning it. This may be due to feelings of persuasion or a belief that at least I get this or at least they do this. This behavior may have a negative impact on your emotional and cognitive well-being. Let's examine the idea of exaggerated thoughts. It's common for individuals who have experienced narcissistic abuse to convince themselves of certain things, such as, they are still linked to me because they have sex with me, or at least I get to have sex with them. This type of thinking demonstrates the mental gymnastics that can occur as a result of abuse. It's important to note that sexual intimacy can be a sign of past trauma from narcissistic abuse. It's not something to be ashamed of, as it is a natural response of the brain. The sexual relationship with a narcissist may have initially been a source of comfort, but with an increased understanding of the abuser's true character, the brain and biochemistry can change, leading to eventual healing and letting go. If you found this information helpful, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments section. Let's continue to work towards healing and recovery together. Have a great day.